Premier Su Zhen Chang and CECC head Victor Wong on Tuesday attended a ceremony to celebrate 50 years of Taipei Hospital. The officials were asked questions about Taiwan's approach to easing COVID measures. Su said the lifting of COVID rules would be gradual and cautious as COVID is still raging around the world. Meanwhile, Wang said he had been meeting with experts from many fields to find the best way forward. Premier Su Zhen Chang attended a ceremony celebrating 50 years of Taipei Hospital. With him was the new health minister Xue Rui Yuan and the new CECC head Victor Wang. Su thanked medical professionals for being at the front line of Taiwan's defenses against COVID. He said that moving forward, easing Taiwan's COVID measures will require plenty of caution. <laughs> Taiwan's COVID situation is indeed easing. Everyone has complied very well with the measures. But abroad, COVID is raging. We still must be cautious when assessing how to open our borders. About 60 percent of the infected children with severe COVID are young children. Their protection is extremely important for us. So we are making that an important indicator. We hope that vaccine coverage among young children can be a bit higher before we ease measures farther. Officials say there is no plan yet to completely do away with arrival quarantines, especially since vaccines only recently rolled out for young children who are at a higher risk of severe symptoms. Since taken on the reins of CEC head, Wang has consulted health experts about Taiwan's COVID measures. In a Facebook post on Monday, Wang shared two pictures, one with National Taiwan University College of Public Health professor Chen Xiuxi and the other with Academia Sinica Institute of Biomedical Sciences researcher He Mei Xiang. In the caption, Wang said that as CECC commander, learning and exchanging views with all sorts of experts was the only way to devise good policies. I asked them for advice in person and talked about the relevant issues more deeply. For example, I discussed the higher than expected death rate and other relevant issues with Professor Chen Xiuxi, and that's his expertise. So I asked him questions in person. It was the same with Dr. He Mei Xiang. She offered some great guidance on analyzing vulnerable groups, on Taiwan's domestically developed vaccines, and on the future development of COVID. Let's unite and work together against COVID and for economic recovery. We'll continue to work for the good of the people. Premier Su said the government would work to ensure the economy recovers in the last stretch against COVID, that is, with caution at every step.